a super welterweight professional bout of six two-minute rounds between, from the blue corner, scaling 69 kilograms, hailing from Brisbane, Queensland, current WKA national champion, Steve Superkick Vic. His opponent from the red corner, scaling 70 kilograms from Sydney, New South Wales, national Kung Fu champion in his weight division, New South Wales super welterweight and middleweight title holder, undefeated in 14 professional bouts, Rick Chivers. Referee Dana Goodson laying down the law to both fighters in their corners. Steve Superkick Vic from Brisbane, Australia. Albany Creek actually fighting Rick Shivers from Sydney, Australia. From the river actually and also from the same gym that our co-commentator, Australian Cruiserweight champion Peter Blumson comes from. And Peter, you can tell us a little bit about this fellow as a fiery opening begins round one. That's right. Steve's already shown us why he's called Superkick Vic. As you can see, lightning fast kicks from both fighters. Lovely thigh kick from Rick. Oh, nice work. Plenty of power on the pivot. Oh, big right hand from Rick Shivers. That hurt. Well, you're looking for action down under at Festival Hall tonight. You certainly get it here this round in round one of this super welterweight bout. Big kick, but blocked by Rick Shivers. That's what Rick has to do now. He's got to keep his hands up and get inside those super fast kicks from Steve. Break fighters, break fighters, break. Put. The fighter's hand touches the floor. He's down for the count, and you don't kick him. Three, four, five. Rick has six, to keep his hands up in seven, this fight. Hey, you alright? Ready for it? Box! Oh, well, I guess he got one back then. Fight clean, guys. Well, this will bring the fire out of both boys if nothing right. will. No holding. And for Steve Vick tonight, someone of comeback fight for him. Right. That's right. He had very two tough bouts against Alex Tui recently. And that can only have given him a lot of experience. Alex Tui, of course, being a world contender from Sydney. Having a chat with Steve beforehand, he uh, was a little reluctant to tell me that it was basically a comeback fight for him. But uh, having a look on replay here at the moment, we can see, uh, as Peter mentioned before, right. why a they call big him. right oh. round kick with the shin to the side of Rick's head. And, and a bit afterwards, which is not welcome. Guys. That's Good a foul. To see. Quickly. That's right. The Australian WKA Worldaway Champion is Steve Superkick Vic. Ten wins and two losses, six by KO. And has been under trainer Wayne Spencer for some two and a half years. And uh, on the other hand... Your gym mate Rick Shivers tells me he likes uh, triathlons. That's right, Rick and I are both into triathlons. He's very fit. Runs, always running, swimming, cycling. A real good sportsman. And plenty of amateur boxing. Round two. He knows what he's got to do. He's got to, got to keep the hands up. Nice side kick from Super Kick. Very fast. Caught Rick off balance then. Left leg of Rick Shivers, inside and outside of the thigh, starting to redden up a fraction from those lightning kicks from Steve Vick. Yeah, already it just testifies to the power of the man's kicks. Oh, 
behind you. Good punches from Rick Shivers. Actually, I've been impressed with his glove work. Break, no holding, guys. No holding. Box. This is a better round nice from uh, Rick Shivers. Good inside work from Rick. Well, he must have been listening to what you were uh, talking about beforehand. Got to tighten up. Another good left hand. And just a little bit of sting gone out of Steve Super kick at the moment. Break, Rick Shiver's a very methodical fighter. He'll go all night. Well, as far as fitness is concerned, Pete. He's uh, into triathlons. Oh, oh a good kick hit. then by, uh, by Steve. Port Shivers right across the side of the head. But uh, getting back to triathlons, looking for superb fitness, that's certainly what will keep him fit. That's exactly right. Both boys probably uh, in, in the clinch, looking for a bit of a breather. A hectic pace at round two. And... Uh, as I said, halfway through that round, a much better round from Rick. I'd have to give the first one to Steve, but... Uh... Difficult to score the second one, I think, Rob. Yeah. Very close. Some good glove work by Rick. Let's have a look on the replay here. Magnificent kick there to the, to the upper portion of the body, right to the chest there by Steve Vick. Caught Rick as he was moving in, a little bit off balance. And plenty of entertainment down under tonight at Festival Hall here in Victoria in Australia. And we're gearing up towards the fight of the night, the World Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship to be fought between Stan the Man Longanides, the number one contender for the world title, and Zenny the Zulu Reynolds. Stan with a record of 18 wins, no losses, 13 by knockout. And the challenger, Zenny the Zulu Reynolds, 26, 6 and 2, 19 by knockout. So form on the ball between both fighters looks superb. But the action at the moment in centre ring between Rick Shivers from Sydney, Australia and Steve Superkick Vic from Brisbane, Albany Creek. My co-commentator this evening here at ringside is uh, Peter Blumson, our Australian cruiserweight champion, who would love to have been out in the ring tonight, but... Uh, we're happy we've got him here with his expert well, comments well. leading up to this main fight tonight. Of course, one of his you, oh, in here. Just a lovely left hook. In fact, for those of you that are watching this, uh, some of the comments from these Sydney boys, you might uh, find Pete on the edge of his chair. They are his teammates or his gym mates. And uh, right. no doubt try to look at it with an open mind, anyhow. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, this is a good fight. Rick Shivers stalking super kick, Steve. Come on, box, box. Yeah, cameraman right on target there, right in the corner of the ring. And some great stuff. Good shots. As both boys trade blows in the corner. Good work. Watch your elbows. You know, those inside legs, just knocking the fighter slightly off balance. Hopefully set up an uppercut, the left hook. Oh, good right hand there from Shivers. And I think that stung uh, Steve Vick just a little bit. He wasn't too keen to come out of the corner in a hurry. That checking side kick from Steve. Oh, and that's a slip. A bit of a tap on the side of the head. Yes, but that so I don't think there's anything malice in that. Good sportsman, Rick Shivers. Just a reminder to let you know I'm still here. Nice kick from Steve. Another close round. And we've had some good fights tonight from uh, the Interstaters. This is a New South Wales-Queensland fight. Almost as much rivalry as New South Wales-Victoria. Well, the Interstate rivalry here in this country is fairly right. Here we go again on replay. Big side kick from Rick. Following with the hands. Now, oh, that's nice the right, right hand in the hand. corner. Clubbing right hand. Another leg kick. And Steve just a little bit off the mark and uh, 
Good points to Rick Shivers in that corner. As both fighters... Uh, Take the rest. Six two-minute rounds. Second. That's right. Six two-minute rounds. And up for round four. Dana Goodson, a referee in centre ring. Round four. Once again, that didn't hurt. Well, <laughs> I think the, uh, the face told the story. I think Rick realised what he'd done wrong, and a uh, smile came to the face as he went down. No damage done. Well, this is what the crowd have come to see, Peter. There's plenty of action. Action and plenty. Oh, oh big left cool. I think that rocks, Steve. Flicking right hand thrown out there by Steve Bick. Right, 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 clean. Been a tired nice battle for four rounds so far. Both components, body punching and kicking good. That one might have been a fraction low. Vic trying to fight his way off the rope, now has Shivers on the back move. And both fighters into a twitch right, yet right. again. Big flashy kicks from he's, Steve. He's got plenty of agility, hasn't he? The thing that impresses me with his kicking too, Peter, he's got the ability to be able to kick on the back move. Yes, but it's hard right, to score right, with those right, kicks. Right, right, right. They're very fast and powerful, but Rick's stalking, methodical right. fighter. And he gets inside the kicks and scores with the hands. Taking nothing away from Steve's kicks, of course. Those words from Peter Blomson. No, oh, nice right hand. Come on, fight your way out. Right. And <laughs> a little bit of a gentle push behind the head from Rick Shivers. All men in good front, I'm sure. And I was about to say before... Uh, our referee, Dana Goodson, who uh, is in centre ring getting the cards. The uh, score cards of round four. Has on his hands at the moment a very good fighter and Mike the Bounty Hunter. And uh, we have a look at these two boys on replay again. Steve Vicky. And that's the one that caught Shivers off guard. And uh, has a boxer by the name of Mike the Bounty Hunter in his stable at the moment. And uh, as this fellow, since he's arrived in Australia, taken a place by storm. And it has brought boxing to the fore, as has this particular sport down under now, the sport of kickboxing. Let's have a look on replay again. Some of the action in round four. That's right, Rick with his hands up, caught him in the nice left hook there, and followed with the right hand, just giving over Steve's head. Yes, of course, it's very easy to see the kicks and see the damage and hear the whack, but the work that gets done following up from it. Uh, which you said before, Peter, it's uh, all very well to dodge those, but to follow them up with left and right combinations and do the work with the gloves inside. Rick still stalking forward. Nice round kick to the midsection from Rick Shivers. Fifth of the sixth rounder. In the black trunks. Rick Shivers from Sydney, Australia. Uh, in the red trunks, who has just taken a dive now, Steve Superkick Vic from Brisbane, Albany Creek. Both fighters, Pete, be fair to say, just starting to look a little bit tired. That's right. A lot of the flashiness has gone out of Steve now. He's a little bit tired as he slips there. Okay, to stay up, man. Let's go. I think it's fair to say Rick's getting on top. Oh, very flashy. Spinning round back to 
Didn't do a lot of damage to Rick Shivers, though. Break, break, break clean, break clean. The Shark on the shorts, any significance? Fight. Well, he's from Sydney's eastern suburbs. Maroubra, local football teams, the Sharks. He's a surfy. It all ties Fight, in. guys, fight. And Shivers back on the ropes at the moment. Rope. Holding on is uh, Steve Vick. And good thigh kick coming from Rick Shivers off the ropes on that occasion. Another nice round kick. Great. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this last round. For mine, Rick Shivers just looks a little bit the fresher. Well, my money's on Rick. I know he's trained very hard for this fight. I know we'll go the distance. I know we'll be fresh at the end. First. First. Steve was just tiring towards the end of that round. Of course, you've got to understand those high flashy kicks take a lot of energy. Let's have a look on replay here again. Good guy kick coming off for uh, Rick Shivers on that occasion. And blocked Catch again. Shooting. Yeah. Just caught on the glove there. Steve was falling backwards. Steve Vick under the care of Wayne Spencer, where Rick Shivers is under the guidance of Mick Spinks, and we'll tell you a little bit about Mick later on because he has another fighter a little bit later on in the night. A young man that's been around the fight game or the kickboxing game for a long, long time. Back in the last round. Oh, nice side kick there. More of a checking kick than a hurting kick. And uh, I think Rick Shivers acknowledged that too. Still a stalker, still the aggressor, Rick Shivers. That's right, you've got to give points to Rick for taking the fight up. However, the judges score the kicking in these bouts a little hot, more highly than the punching, as you would expect from a kickboxing fight. Well, a good kick. Good left kick there, boys. Steve, super kick there. And Rick Shivers wanting to go on with this. He's really got to take the fight up now. Nice combination. Good work. Not long to go now, Rob. The left hand doing the damage for Rick Shivers at the moment. Not long to go in this final round. And the aggressor in the black shorts, Rick Shivers from Sydney, Australia. And the flashy style of Steve Super kick big over the top of Shivers again. Well, an attempted back kick there, but he's got much left. And the bell to win the sixth round. Well, I would like to pick it, but uh, I like the glove work of Rick Shivers. Steve uh, Vick, of course. As you said before, Pete, as the name of Super Kick, and we saw why, but uh, a lot of those kicks to me didn't seem to do a lot of damage, but then the referees might have seen it differently. Oh, that's right. Those kicks are very flashy and very high and do score well, but Rick was taking the fight up to Steve. And if on my scorecard, I've obviously got Rick ahead. All right, let's have a look at the replay again. There's, there's the kick to the midriff, which uh, put Shivers down on the canvas. In fact, just after that, Rick acknowledged it. <laughs> Put the glove in the air to say, OK, that's one you've done. With the sponsors let's go back to centre ring and our ring announcer, the doyen of ring announcers, Ray Connolly. To come to the ring to present the winner with his handsome trophy. And handsome they certainly are. Again, another replay. In health foods. Right. Left, right combination followed from by a left Theo's round kick from Steve. Looping right hand that missed. And uppercuts. They're the recipe for 
in, in a situation like that where you see uh, the likes of Shivers wanting to take the fight up all the time, do the referees score that as, as perhaps bonus points to them in, 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 that, in reflecting that? Yes, they obviously give bonus points to the fighter who's the more aggressive. And both corners acknowledging uh, a good exhibition that both boys have uh, put on here tonight. And we'll have the score from uh, ringmaster Ray Connolly very shortly. And as I said before, those trophies, magnificent in the centre ring at the moment. No doubt uh, you'd have a few of those, Pete, at home, but of course still in search of more. Well, that's right. That's a very attractive Rolling trophy. Contest. I wouldn't mind a few more of them. Winner by unanimous decision, Rick Chivers. Well... I think we we're both pretty well spot on the mark then. I agree with that. In that situation, although I must admit I was thoroughly entertained. Very entertaining fight. Steve Super kick Vic. So Rick Shiver's record now goes on to 15 straight wins, no losses. And uh, another feather in the cap for his trainer, Mick Spinks.